let's go ahead and swim right down. Again, these will be finicky walls. You may bonk your head on it by accident. Okay. We're making it. We're making it fine. <clears throat> Up we go. Let's look at this. Look. You're in a small grotto below the swamp. The strange light dances off the walls of this cave. Its origin, a glowing gem, situated on top of a boulder. Take gem. You take the glowing gem. Hold breath. Once again, you wisely take in a load of air and head below. Again, I'm guessing we have to do it quickly. Now, holding our breath probably gives us an extra minute to do this. So, let's make it out quickly. As quickly as possible. And, we're back to the surface. You've gotten out of the deep spot and you're back on your soggy feet. We can really slowly. By the way, the deeper water, I wonder if it's going to taste nearly as toxic as the as the shallow swamp water. How is it that shallow from beginning to end like that? That just doesn't make any sense. Doesn't it gradually get deeper, gradually shallower? Hmm. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> You smoothly step off the edge of the fissure. Gravity has its way with you, and you're sucked into the depths of the fissure at a very high speed. Needless to say, you hit the bottoms, and your mortal remains are redimensioned to the point where life is no longer an option. Will you ever learn? Possibly, or possibly not. So, let's climb the tree. The tree is dead and seems to be free of the sick sec slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shinny your way up the snag. And... Crack. Woo. Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Okay. And if we press the down arrow... Being less than careful, you lose your balance and slide off the log. Gravity has its way with you, and you're sucked into the depths of the fissure at a very high rate of speed. Needless to say, you hit the bottom, and your mortal remains are redimensioned to the point where life is no longer an option. Okay, okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> That's interesting. If you fall from just the side of the cliff, you get the short message. But if you fall from the log, you get the long one. Whoa. And it gives me the exact same message if I was to fall there. So let's restore this game. What do we have over here? Ooh. Intrigued with gravity, you take another terminal ride to solid ground. So watch your step. Definitely watch your step. Checking our inventory. Supporter, spore, glowing gem, whistle, dialect translator, keycard, and puzzle. Okay. That should be fine. Let's walk forward. Whoa! <laughs> Yikes! You've been snared. Suspended above the ground, you are unable to move freely. Hmm. How long am I going to be stuck there? After a while, the cerebral fireworks begin. Capillaries begin to burst under the strain. You pass out. Once again, time passes. And then, some more time passes. While unconscious, you have the strangest of, strangest of dreams. You imagine that your name is Larry. You are wearing something known as a leisure suit, apparently made of 100% synthetic materials and proven to generate large amounts of static electricity. While prowling a locale known as the Land of the Lounge Lizards, you spend your time badgering women of the area to participate in bizarre mating rituals such as... Just then, consciousness begins to creep in. Your head begins to clear and you realize that you've been in prison. Your captor appears to be that large oaf sitting near the fire. Okay. Let's talk to Oaf. The hunter seems to ignore you. Let's set this to normal speed. Throw Spore. Ooh. Upon impact with the ground, the spore opens and spews its dust into the air. The hunter falls to the ground paralyzed. Hmm. That might not have been the smartest option. Um, open door. The door is locked. 
Obviously, it's going to be locked. Yeah, that... That probably screwed me over. So let's restore this. Talk. Talk to Oaf. Hmm. Understands and takes a long look in your direction. His face, though strange in its own right, bears an expression one might see on a freak show patron. He moves closer. So what now? What now? Is he just gonna stand there? Pow! <laughs> Ouch. Oh, that's gotta hurt. The hunter has decided that it's a perfect day for a barbecue. As he slowly turns you over the fire, you begin to turn a beautiful golden brown. Death follows an agonizingly long distance. That must be a really long distance, then. Okay. So let's reload this. How about we throw the spore instead? Now. Upon impact with the ground, look. You're in a well-hidden clearing. It is surrounded on three sides by large smooth rock formations with brush to the north. A cage is below one of the formations. You are currently in it. In the center, a campfire burns. One has to wonder about the purpose of a fire during a warm day such as this. A rope sits on one of the boulders. A large beast is lying on the ground. Look at beast. The hunter is lying on the ground, unable to move. It looks as though the spore proved quite effective in this instance. Maybe take a key if he has one? You reach through the bars and take possession of the key. Unlock door. You slip the key into the lock and give it a turn. The lock snaps open. Open door. You open the cage door. Look at spore. Okay. Take rope. You grab the rope. What happens if you touch the fire? Who knows? Will you get burned by it? Touch fire. Look at fire. There are flames dancing above the embers of the fire. Ah, don't you think there are flames? Shouldn't that be obvious? Up we go. Let's save it again. Whoa. <laughs> Ouch. That's what would have happened if I was caught the first time. Drats. Vohal's troops to track you down and pass sentence for your escape. Tough luck, eh? Yeah, tough luck. Now? There's gonna be something here, isn't there? Whoa! No sound. Way to go, Pathfire! As you plunge towards the base of your cliff. The cliff. Mommy escapes your lips. You really that much of a coward? Fine then. Let's just head on over to the left. Nothing much of importance anyway. Anyway, so we've taken the key, we've taken the rope. I wonder if there are going to be any more, any more ropes that could trap us. Maybe it's just that one. They can appear at a random place at a random time. Sometimes early, sometimes late. In this case, it appeared to be somewhere in the middle. Okay. So, let's climb log. Over here we go. Tie rope to stump. You're not near a good place to tie the rope. Okay. Tie rope to tree. You'll have to decide between the tr the stump and the log. So, don't tell me what's not a good place. Climb rope. Can't do that from here. Just why? Okay. And you head over the edge and down the rope. And, uh-oh. <laughs> Not very strong now, was it? It looks like that stump wasn't a good thing to tie onto. Obviously leading to my death. So, back to fast.
tie rope or copper to log. Or climb log. Tie rope. Uh, what did it say? You have to specify whether you want to attach again. Tie rope to log. Climb rope. Okay, this time I should be safe. Down I go. Too far down. You reach the end of the rope. This has a negative effect on your resistance to the urging of gravity. And I somehow turn the sound off by mistake. So, let's turn it back on. Again. Let's turn it back on. Don't know why I accidentally turned it off. Such a sh such a sound. Okay. Swing. Rope. Wait until it swings for long enough. I'm not going to set it to fastest because that beast is there for a reason. It does give you a head indication of when you should let go. And not there yet. Okay. So nearly there. Oops. Your timing causes you to jump when the rope is at its least helpful point. Gravity beckons. Due to the unyielding nature of, s nature of solid ground, especially when struck from 50 meters, you now better bear the dimensions of a manhole cover. Yep. <laughs> okay. So how far to the right can it go? So that's three, and ow. He who hesitates is lost. You, have, you gave that guy one chance too many and seized the opportunity, not to mention you. You were consumed in two quick bites. Those must be quick bites, then. <laughs> okay. That was a good jump. And I'll stop it right now. <laughs>